Hello! Sooner or later, any photographer has a need for accurate color reproduction. There is a video on the channel about color calibration in Capture One. It's time to make a lesson about calibration in Lightroom. In this video, I will show you how to create a calibration profile for Lightroom using a color target and 3D LUT creator. I used Color Checker from X-Rite and you will certainly ask me why I should use 3D LUT creator if there is a native calibration software from X-Rite. First, not all manufacturers of color targets provide their calibration software. Second, you can measure the color of absolutely any target, load this data into 3D LUT Creator, and use it. That is, you can use custom color palettes. You can use factory targets with accurately measured colors. And you can also use color targets that come with reference colors data in a separate file. Third, 3D LUT Creator allows you to calibrate not only the color matrix, but also to adjust the colors using color grid for greater accuracy. And finally, 3D LUT Creator can create calibration profiles without built-in contrast. Thus, you will have an exact color and the ability to set the contrast to fit your needs. Let's get started. I took two shots on Fujifilm X-T2 with auto white balance. The first photo was taken with cold light source. The second photo was taken with warm light. If you've already watched the video about calibration in Capture One, you know that these photos cannot be used for calibration as they are. Lightroom applied standard color profile to them, which contains contrast curve and color matrix. You need to calibrate the color based on raw data. So first, you need to develop these photos with a neutral profile, where there is neither contrast curve nor color matrix. There is no such profile in Lightroom but I will show you how to make it in 3D LUT Creator. I don't need to load an image here. I go to Menu, Image, Assign Color Profile, Pro Photo. So it appeared in the title. I did it so that the created profile has the maximum color gamut. Next, I select File, Export 3D LUT. Here is the folder where Adobe stores camera profiles. You can find all paths in the video description. File format is DCP. I will name it XT2 Flat Profile. I click Save. I select the basic profile from the folder with Adobe Standard Profiles. Here, you need to select a standard profile for your camera. I have already selected profile for my XT2. Its name will be taken when saving, so Lightroom will add it to the profile list for my camera. Here, I tick off all checkboxes. You can leave Reset White Balance checkbox because I haven't changed the white balance here, so it doesn't affect my profile in any way. As long as my profile is saved, I will restart Lightroom. The profile is saved. Now I'm launching Lightroom. Here I choose my flat color profile. I'm going to apply it to both photos. Please notice the important point. After assigning the profile, you need to set the white balance. I'll do it by clicking with white balance eyedropper on neutral patch. Photos can now be exported for calibration. I will name the first shot Flat Cold. You need to choose TIFF, Pro Photo Color Space, 16 bits. I'll name the second shot Flat Warm. Lightroom can be closed as soon as the export is done. It's time to calibrate. I load the first photo to 3D LUT Creator. I place the grid on top of the target. My calibration method is curves plus matrix. Pay attention to that here in the settings, you can choose to automatically preserve the exposure. What is it? I think everyone understands that it is possible to obtain target colors only at a certain exposure. Therefore, by default, when matching the color, your exposure also will be calibrated. If you are not sure that you shot the target in ideal conditions, I'm not sure either, then it's better to save the exposure of the photo and turn the setting on as I did. When you preserve the exposure, the calibration will go according to the reference values of the target with exposure compensation for your shot. Let's calibrate. So the calibration is complete. The color has been calibrated very accurately. And that's what happened. I got precise color without contrast. If you do not like the contrast that is built into camera profile, you can leave it like this. 
I will save this lot. I will name it XT2. Cold, no contrast. If you like contrasting variant, you can select Standard Profile Curve from Film Curve drop-down list. Here's what happened. I will keep this lot. I will name it XT2 Cold Contrast. Now I'm going to do the same with another file. So the calibration lots are ready, I can start creating profiles. I open Photoshop and load the first raw file shot with cold light source. I choose flat profile. I'm not touching the white balance here. I'm going to tab with presets, holding Alt key and clicking on the new preset icon. In this case, new profile will be created. I will name it cold, no contrast. I'll load my LUT file. Please make sure to choose Pro Photo here. The profile group will be User Profiles, but you can create a new group. I click OK. My profile is created. Now again, I'm holding Alt and clicking on the icon of the new preset. I'll name new profile Cold Contrast. I'll load another LUT and select Pro Photo. Done. Now I'm going to load a photo with Warm Light Source to Photoshop and do the same for the second shot. So all profiles have been saved. Now let's launch Lightroom and see how they work with my photos. I'll select a profile from Adobe, set the white balance and create two virtual copies. I will assign to the first copy the profile without contrast. To the second copy, Profile with Contrast. I'm going to do the same with the second shot. Now I'm going to set white balance everywhere. Let's see what happened. Here is the photo with Adobe Standard Profile. Here is with calibrated color without contrast. You can adjust the contrast to your taste. Here is the photo with calibrated color and contrast. Now let's compare them. Here is the photo with Standard Profile. Here is one after calibration. It can be seen that red color is very different. Now let's compare the photo with Warm Light Source. That's how standard profile works. Here is the photo after calibration. Notice how red color is very different. I will zoom in on the fragment. In fact, the apple is just that shade. Also, pay attention to the table. It has yellow shade with standard profile. But in fact, it is pink. Another interesting point, if you select a film emulation profile for a photo, for example Provia, then red and blue colors will get even worse. Here is a photo with profile from Adobe. Here is how Provia profile works. Therefore, if you do not have a color target and you need the exact color, it is better to use standard profile from Adobe, as film profiles are designed to emulate the film, not used for accurate color reproduction. So that's all. It was a rather difficult lesson. There are quite a few nuances to consider, but if you do everything carefully, the result will please you. To make it easier for you to master this material, I will add a link to my raw files in the video description. If something is not clear, you can ask me in the comments. See you in the next video.